Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer on Friday the 16th of April 2021. Um, just as I said the date, I remembered it's one of my friend's birthdays. Um, so I think it's today anyway. Happy birthday Michael, if uh, he's probably not watching. Um, but anyway, no worries. Uh, it's really sunny here today. It was cold and frosty. Um, but uh, sunny and warm later on. I think gradually we're warming up, aren't we? Um, coffee house is open from 10 till 1 today. Um, come along. Uh, there are some spare tables uh, if you're in the area. Uh, sit in the sun. It's actually rather nice. So here we are, Friday the 16th. You can um, email me put your comments on me, on there. Um, ooh, I've lost my camera. Well, <laughs> thanks Andy. Um, I lost my camera. I don't know where, I don't know quite what happened there. Um, but uh, yeah, here we are. You can put your comments on there. Thank, thankfully I read that one. Um, you see, I do read them. Um, you can email me, you can put, um, your comments on YouTube later. Uh, readings today are Psalm 57, Deuteronomy 4, 15 to 31, and John 21, 15 to 19. They will appear on the screen later, hopefully. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let earth and heaven rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, and so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 57 Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until the storm of destruction has passed by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me and rebuke those who would trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions people whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, 
above the heavens and your glory over all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet. My soul is pressed down. They have dug a pit before me and will fall into it themselves. My heart is ready. O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing and give you praise. Awake, my soul, awake, harp and lyre, that I may awaken the dawn. I will give you thanks, O oh Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is as high as the heavens and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens and your glory over all the earth. Tender God, gentle protector in time of trouble, pierce the gloom of despair and give us with all your people the song of freedom and the shout of praise. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Deuteronomy chapter 4, 15 to 31. Since you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you at Horeb out of the fire, Take care and watch yourselves closely so that you do not act corruptly by making an idol for yourselves in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And when you look up to the heavens and see the sun, the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, do not be led astray and bow down to them and serve them, things that the Lord your God has allocated, uh, sorry, as allotted to all the peoples everywhere and under heaven. But the Lord has taken you and brought you out of the iron smelter, out of Egypt, to become a people of his very own possession as you are now. The Lord was angry with me because of you and he vowed that I should not cross the Jordan and that I should not enter the good land that the Lord God is giving for your possession for I am going to die in this land without crossing over the Jordan but you are going to cross over to take possession of that good land. So be careful not to forget the covenant that the Lord your God made with you and not to make for yourselves an idol in the form of anything that the Lord your God has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a devouring fire, a jealous God. When you have had children and children's children and become complacent in the land, if you act corruptly by making an idol in the form of anything, thus doing what is evil in the sight of the Lord your God and provoking him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that you will soon utterly perish from the land that you are crossing the Jordan to occupy. You will not live long on it but will be utterly destroyed. The Lord will scatter you among the peoples. Only a few of you will be left among the nations where the Lord will lead you. There you will serve other gods made by human hands, objects of wood and stone that neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. From there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and soul. In your distress, when all these things have happened to you in time to come, you will return to the Lord your God and heed him. Because the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will neither abandon you nor destroy you. He will not forget the covenant with your ancestors that he swore to them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And John 
chapter 21 verses 15 to 19. Remember we are on the beach and the disciples have just caught that Jesus said cast your nets on the other side and the, they cast their nets and the, the nets were full uh, and Jesus has made them breakfast on the beach and uh, it was that place that we think that it's that place that we visited in Israel. So you imagine yourself there with the, the, the calm waters there and, and this little little gathering. When they finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. Second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hand and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, follow me. And just as I, oh, this is the word of the Lord. Just as I um, was reading that, I remember on that beach, um, I can see whether I can find the photos of it. On the, on the beach, Pebble Beach, and there are three rocks in the beach. And those rocks are in the kind of the shape of a heart. Um, you know, whether someone made them like that or not I really don't know um, <clears throat> it seems natural anyway um, st staying for the three times that Jesus asked Simon Peter do you love me remarkable place um, what am I doing reflection that's what we're doing next Uh, verse to uh, reflect on is verse 29 of Deuteronomy 4 you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and soul it's very clear that the people of God are being warned against idolatry we love to think that this involves statues of gods and heroes so the warnings don't really affect us but idolatry is as is as alive as it ever was whatever we treat as a god whether it is money success our own ego sex or possessions is what captures our heart and directs us away from the beauty truth and goodness of the living god such addictions can ruin relationships with others and our own self-worth we must see what it is we are serving in this life. And one way to take a quick spiritual checkup is to look at your next bank statement. As where your money goes will tell you clearly where you place your values. Recognition is the first step to salvation and the passage today reassures that although idols are destructive that possessions can possess us we are able to turn life around and return to God because the Lord your God is a merciful God he will neither abandon you nor destroy you 
it has been quipped that there is nothing more empty than a person full of themselves. But we also know that life can become empty when we are led to a place, so, sorry, we are led to place our ultimate hopes in ephemeral things. Such a life becomes restless, as St. Augustine knew, and the restless heart has only one true place to find its harbour. One of the things that struck me over this last year is about the things that we um, make idols of. Um, and the, the, the big one for me has been the church building. Um, how and it's not personal, it's other clergy really. Um, and understanding that I oh know everything has to be about the building about getting back into the building um, and I think we've discovered that actually we can worship uh, and learn and teach and fellowship in loads of different places um, and minds have been stretched uh, and it's not all about the building um, so are there hidden idols that uh, we kind of just don't even really think about. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you know each one of us more than we know ourselves. We love you as you ask us those questions do you love me we say yes Lord we love you and Jesus asks us a second and third time and Jesus I wonder whether we don't understand what that might mean as we say yes we love you what that might mean as uh, to make it real might mean that we do have to look at our bank statement we do have to check our behaviour we do have to look at what idols are in our own lives and we Lord we come to you and we ask maybe that we need some help and that we need your spirit to um, speak to us and and um, highlight some things that we need to change in our lives might be a day of, of revelation today might be a day where the light bulb switches on for us as we search for you with our heart and our soul Jesus we come before you in humility and ask your mercy your grace your forgiveness We come to you, Lord. We come to you um, with the um, knowledge of, of our church buildings and our church fellowships coming together as restrictions are being lifted to re establish in that community, that sense of community, who we are, what our purpose is, who, what are we about, do we love you as a, as a church fellowship, do we have other idols as a church fellowship. We pray Jesus for St Stephen's, St Seth's, St Peter's, we pray for the churches of anybody um, watching here today or whichever day people are watching it we pray that our churches will be places uh, of, of not of idols but of place of love 
where first in our hearts is our love for you, Jesus. Where everything else gets expressed uh, through that lens of love and through the grace and forgiveness and love that you give to us. We pray for the church in Barkinside, for Benjamin Wallace and Chris Burroughs, pray for the Diocese of Blackburn. And Lord Jesus, these aren't just places, these are people gathering together to worship you, to love you, to live out their discipleship with their own struggles in all these different places. Come Holy Spirit, renew us, refresh us, restore us, guide us to live that the right path. May we uh, kick away any idols we have in our lives. Jesus, we come to you and we lift up the people whom we are praying for to you. We call out that wherever we are, we call out their names. Lord, we pray for Jasmine and for Dawn and Eloise. Pray for Jasmine's work placement, that she's settling in well. We pray for Sue. We lift her to you, Jesus. We ask that you would take that pain away, that you would uh, be there with her, give her peace of mind and heart. You would restore her and renew her. We pray for John, that um, you would be so close to him and Christine. He would know your love for him. We pray, Jesus, for the lady that had the brain tumour operation. And we thank you that that tumour was smaller than the uh, consultants expected. We thank you that that operation was a success. We pray, Jesus, for that continued recovery. We pray that your spirit would be touching her right now. That you would give her uh, your peace. I don't know, Jesus, whether she knows you in her heart, but may she know your presence around her. May she make that connection and praise you and bless you and thank you. Bless her family. We pray for Chrissy. As, um, we prayed a few weeks ago about complications in the pregnancy and we give you thanks that uh, she has given birth to a baby. <laughs> I can't remember if it's a girl or boy. Um, just two pounds. And six ounces, I think it was. Jesus, this new life has entered the world. Someone that you know, you've knit together in her mother's womb. And we pray for um, that young mite, and we hold her in our him, her in our prayers. And we pray, Jesus, that you would breathe your life and your health into that baby that Jesus you protect her and Lord that you would be with Chrissy that the complications that she has that you would bring healing and health to her pray for Danny supporting her and loving her and the rest of the family we pray Jesus that that um, they would regard this as a miracle, maybe a turning point, to know that your hand is upon them, that you, how much you love them. Good 
Lord, we pray for Jeremy's family, for Michelle and Daisy. We pray for others who have been bereaved. We call out their names. We cry to you, Jesus, that you might um, show them your grace and your love, your comfort, your support, your protection. We pray for David uh, Raglan going into hospital today for a procedure. We pray, Lord, that uh, this will be a, a successful operation, that you would be there with him, that he would know your presence and your peace. Lord, would you be with him, keep him calm. He would know your peace in his heart. We pray for those caring for him. We ask your blessing upon them. Lord, we lift to you our own personal prayers wherever we are. We speak them out to you. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the level of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Hope you joined in those uh, um, back again tonight eight o'clock um, tomorrow morning eight o'clock and Sunday we are going to meet as a community in the church building for our 1030 worship it will be online as well um, there are only 45 places available while we're still in restriction mode um, and those places are going fast so if you want to be there on sunday you really need to book your place um if you don't know what the code is to book the place um you better let me know um and i'll either give you the code or book you in um so that sunday morning 10 30 uh we'll be going back in there's only 45 people allowed in the church at the moment so, um, book your place. Um, that seems to be the, the thing uh, for this next season that we, we begin a, a new season, don't we, really? Um, so, whatever you're planning to, to do today, uh, God bless you. Um, whatever um, happens, God is with you. So, I just offer you God's grace, his mercy, and his peace. Have a great day. Amen.